Whether you just started casting yesterday or you've been casting for years, I'm going to show you seven resin tips and tricks. My name is Eric Strebel. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. I hope that you like, enjoy, and become a subscriber. As a product designer, I make a lot of cast resin pre-production parts. Here's some of my tips for making awesome parts. Reusable cups. This is a silicone container, so whatever resin that you mix inside of it isn't going to stick to it. You can also go with a polypropylene cup like this yogurt container right here. They tend to be really good because they don't off-gas like a polystyrene cup would in the vacuum tank. If I have a project where I know I'm going to be mixing up a lot of resin, I'll go down to my local Batman Commissioner food store and I will get these ketchup pumps and I'll screw them onto my resin jugs. It'll allow me to meter out the exact amount of resin without having to lift the jugs every single time. I use syringes for my injection casting versus funnels like some other casters do. But the problem is, how do you get the dried resin out? With air. Build your own compressor, of course. Oftentimes, I need weights to add to the top of my molds to hold them together so they don't leak out. I use exercise weights. You can get them for free on the side of the road on trash day. Make yourself a silicone pad with some extra silicone that you have left over from pouring a mold. Pour it out onto a glass table, let it cure, and boom! You got yourself a silicone pad that nothing sticks to. What to do with that extra resin that you got sitting in your cup after you're done with your cast? I made up a little silicone mold of some old mixing sticks. And I pour my resin in there when I'm done, and bam, I got free mixing sticks. My number one tip, a drip hammer. What's a drip hammer, you say? Well, let me show you. Sometimes when you're casting, a part just doesn't come out. You might have a little air bubble at the top. Get yourself a stick and start to drip the resin off there and make yourself a drip hammer. That way you can drip the resin right into the little spot that you want under your control and get it perfect. If you liked the video and you found it useful, smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can click on the little icon on the bottom right of the screen to do that. You can follow me on Twitter Facebook and Google Plus. Rock on. Click here to watch some of the other design and making videos that I have. If you'd like to have your music featured in one of my videos, drop me a line.